Okay, and I think we are live. So give me one second. I'm just, like I said, I just gotta make sure. Okay, perfect. We're live, huh? I see that. Oh, hi, Glenda. Hi, Vicky. Vicky's here. So, hi, guys. I hope you guys are doing okay. So, like always, we're gonna wait a little bit until everybody catches up with us. And let me, you know, work on the phone, make sure that it's turned off and everything so you don't hear the beep behind it. So, I think we are good. So we're just going to wait until I think it's Leah who's going to come. There you go, Leah today, because Heather is on vacation in her um, Paris right now. So hi, Marcy. I see Vicky. I see some of my friends. As always, if you have never been here before, uh, my name is Natalie D'Souza. I'm part of the video education team for Pink Fresh Studio. And I come every so often to just share a little bit of... Um, inspiration of what we're working with, you know, paying for studio stuff. So a little bit of a housekeeping before we, you know, go forward. Uh, remember that we are like now, uh, Kinari and Leah have worked it out that you can see a live video every week, a scrapbooking live. So I'm here this week. Next week, it will be um, Kathleen, I'm hoping. Uh, and then we, then you have also Leah and Heather alternating doing cars. So you have Lots of inspiration from Pink Free Studio. That's one thing. Now, the second thing, I'm sure you guys have seen the new collections. They're already popping on, like, you know, social media. And I'm going to tell you they're beautiful. Um, we have been working with them for a little bit. So um, just stay close to social media because you're going to see a lot of it coming this weekend. Um, and then don't forget to check the sale at Pink Free Studio because there's always sales, uh, you know, every week. And then the last thing I'm going to say is remember every time you share and comment during this live session, uh, at the end of the live, Leah will pick up a winner for a gift certificate to the shop. And I'm pretty sure that you guys are want to, you know, use that because the collections that are coming up are gorgeous. But honestly, they're beautiful. So I am going to like, you know, flip the camera. I have an idea what we're going to do. Actually, yes, I have. I always have ideas, but you know, they change. But um. You know, we're going to flip the camera. I'm going to show you what we're going to work with. And today we're going to work with the LiPo, which is a collection that came out last year. But I thought the color is perfect to welcome the year. And one of the pictures that we're going to document is actually good. we're going to work with uh, some boy pictures because I think that it's always good and, you know, always a good thing to start with. So I'm going to flip the camera right now. And then remember, it takes one button for me. And then we're going to get working on this. So before, you know, you're going to see I'm down to pieces because I love this collection, literally, like, you know, I really, really like it. So there's a lot of color and I have everything here. So I have the um, word ephemera, the title ephemera, I have some of the ephemera, I have the vellum pieces, I have all the embellishments. I'm going to show you that right here. So I have it all here. And anything that I'm using today is already added in the description of this video. So you can always find them. And let me just move the stuff so you guys see it. And these are the pictures that we're going to document. That is my mom and that is my nephew. This is on January the 1st, so one of the first pictures of the year. And I have, um, I love this paper because if you guys know me a little bit, I love some, anything that has, you know, straight angles and it has like more of an angular tone for a background, especially when I can add you know, something that is going to soften and create a movement on this. So I'm reading the comments. It's going to be a little bit hard for me to read comments and do this at the same time. So I'm sure Leah is going to catch up everything there. So let's see. I, like I said, love this paper. I'm hoping that you can see the lights are, let me just move the lights a bit. So maybe it's not as bright. So give me one second. Let me just turn this a bit. So it won't be as bright. There we go. I think that's better. Yeah, much better. So this is like a soft gray. The name of this paper here is Simple Pleasures. I love this, but I really like this because I think it's going to make everything that I put on top of it pop. Think of it as great as a gray neutral. But what I like the most about this paper is it has a grid. So we're going to take advantage of that to create our background. So start cracking with that. So we're going to put this on the side. And I don't have a full piece. I just have maybe, I'm going to tell you exactly what I have. I'm going to say around nine inches of it. We're going to use less than that. So what I've done ahead of time, and you're going to see that I've gone a little bit not cutting paper. Mm -hmm. I am using the Kirby Leaves uh, die set. I have it here because 
I cut some. So I cut some white cardstock. This is a hundred pound hammer mill. So um, like really nice, bright. And then I cut some of this paper. And the name of this paper, I saved the little piece. It's called a Smile Often. The A side has these like pink and green leaves, but the B side literally looks like this. I think I have a piece that is so. It's a gradient, a rainbow gradient. And you guys know I love rainbows. So I thought that I'm gonna cut pieces out of it. So I've gone ahead and actually cut quite a few of the leaves. And I went mostly with like, you know, more of the greens and the teals because like I said, it's a boy layer, but that does not exclude that I'm gonna add some pink and some yellow and some other colors. So one of the things that I'm gonna talk about a little bit is that I like to be intentional when I die cut pieces. Like if you see this, I was like, you know, careful that I have a nice background because then now I'm going to use this for a layout. Well, this one, no, because that, well, I'll go into my junk here, no probably. But then, you know, be intentional where you create your die cuts, then you have bases for other pages. So I have just a few more here. I'm just going to pop them out. And while we do that, yes, you know, in case I forgot to tell you Happy New Year, this is the first time I'm going live in 2023. It's hard to believe that, you know, we started 2022, we blinked, and we're already in 2023. So um, happy new year to you all. I haven't seen you since last year. You know, no pun intended. In reality, yes. You know, we took a little, I took a little break from uh, social media too. It just needed. My Decembers are super busy. And, um, you know, it was a good thing. You know, what did you guys do for New Year's and stuff like that? So there we go. I have my leaves all here. So let me just, like I said, let me clean up. So, you know, the crafter mat is not so bad at the end. So what you're going to need, if you want to, like, you know, for this idea, is you're going to need an exacto knife or anything that will help you cut straight lines, a ruler and a mat, which I have on the side. I'm going to bring it out right now. Let me just, like I said, I like to clean so we don't have, like, a big mess on the side. So you're going to see I have quite a few uh, leaves here, a lot of greens. A little bit of pink, a little bit of like blue and teals, but I have pretty much all the colors from the collection, except a little bit of like, there's a bit of coral, but that's okay. And quite a bit of the white leaves. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to get my paper. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I pick a background. Like I said, I only have leftover and the name of this paper, let's just make sure, it's called Simple Pleasures. I'm going to use the gray side here. Okay, so um, that's going to be part of my background. So that means that I need a bigger, you know, cardstock for that. So I'm going ahead and pull a few pieces of cardstock that I think are going to work. And I always like to play with some bases and ideas. I don't want to go with pink, even though pink will look so pretty, but not the color for my nephew. Nothing wrong with pink and boys, please don't, you know. I just know that not this time. But I pulled a few bases, and I just want to play with them a little bit. Because, of course, I have white cardstock here and smooth white cardstock. I have some mint color, which I might go with this. I have some gray, but I think it is too redundant and I just lost one of my rings. Let me see. And I thought I had pulled a bit of a yellow tone, which I think is the one that I'm thinking that I'm going to use. I like this one here. So it's between these two and the white, as always. Let me just, like I said, let's clean up as we go along because we want to make sure that we have space. So these are my options for the background. And the gray is going to pop in this. But what we're going to do is going to make it pop even more. So I'm kind of liking the white just because I'm a purist in a way. Black and white is always something good. I do like this. It's called Butterman, which is another color that I like. I love the soft yellow, especially for a boy layout. And I also like this one. This is a mint cardstock. So for now, I'm going to stick with these two, for these three for now. So I'm just going to put them aside. And what I'm going to do with this paper, like I said before, I only have around nine inches left over of that. I'm going to trim it a little bit smaller for now. Okay, so I'm going to tell you exactly how much I have left. Don't count this. So 12, I have around nine and a, sorry, 10 and a half inches. I just want to stay probably around there, around eight inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim it up. So you're gonna see me use, I forgot to bring that. Next one second for me. Sorry about that, I forgot to bring my trim. So I'm gonna cut eight inches of this. 
So one of the things you want to make sure if you want to follow this or like or repeat it is you want to try to keep a grid. So try to keep the squares complete, which is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to cut here. I just like, like I said, I love something that's very angular on the background because then you're able to create flow with your leaves, which is what I want to try to do today. And the word try, it comes, it might sound, you know, scary, but it's not. It's just, you know. Sometimes we have ideas. I think it's going to look good, but until you don't start, you know, there's a different idea there. So I actually get rid of this line too. I don't know yet. For now, we're going to leave it there. So like I said, you're going to need a mat, uh, an exacto knife, and you're going to need something that's going to help you clean the lines, uh, like, you know, help you clean, uh, have a straight line. So let me see. I have my exacto knife here, and I just have a, bo a box cutter too. And I had it until, no, I have it here. Okay, so my idea is, and um, I want to create a little grid at the back, and I'm not going to cut the entire square. I'm actually going to cut just the corner of it and fold it so that I have the leaves coming out of it. Okay, so like I said, I might trim this excess here just because I want to have like, you know, kind of a symmetrical look to the page. And like I said, if you guys know me, then you guys know that I love angular things. I'm just going to do that right now because I'm already looking at it and going, mm, the line is throwing me off. So just a quick trim. And you're going to see that I have the same, like it's going to be pretty much uh, symmetrical on both sides. So let's set up the idea so we know where we're going to cut. So for now, I'm going to pull out the yellowish kind of background. I like it. I do. I like it a lot. I am going to put my picture think right about here. Okay. I have them side by side. I can cut them. I have them right next to each other. Hello from Bolivia. Hola. You know, in case you guys don't know, I'm from Ecuador, so I speak Spanish. So hence the accent. So these pictures are um two and a half by three and a half together. I print them together because it just creates the larger, you know, the option of having a larger picture. Some of you guys like to scrap bigger photos. So I have it here. And I'm thinking that I want to move this a bit to the side. And my pictures are going to sit right about there. So I need to bring some interest to the background. And that's what I'm going to do with my exacto knife and things here. And I have this. Um, you can use, I can even cut it here and, um, you know, in my mat. I don't like scratching my mat, so I have a different one, you know. So, like I said, my idea is I want to create. Literally, I'm going to create little cuts. Think of a create an angle. I'm going to fold it, and I'm going to have some leaves coming out of it. So because I want my picture here, I just have to plan. And I'm going to get a pencil for this, where I want to create these cuts. And I didn't do it ahead of time, even though I had the idea. So I know that I want one here. So I'm going to cut from here to here, and then down, and then I'm going to fold it. And then when, it's, when you fold it, you're going to see some of the teal on the background. So remember, when you create that fold, this is going to turn here. So then I have to think about where do I want to place the next one? Think, I want to create some flow. I can go ahead and do it here. I can do it here. So let's start with the first one. And then we're going to have to, it's going to be like a step-by-step -step, uh, kind of layout. So, and this is going to be super simple. You can do this with flowers. You can do this with pictures. You know, I just thought it's a great um, way to add, you know, Play with two of my favorite favorite things, angles and flow. So then I go ahead. Remember, I added those little dots. I want to make sure that I only cut up to those little dots. You don't want to cut the entire square. You could if you want to. But for this case, I just want to cut the little triangle, the little, um, these two lines here. Okay, so you can see what I'm going to do. Hopefully, I cut through. Okay. Go here. And literally, what are you going to do? Okay, let's get a bit more here. Simply, you're going to want to fold this down. Then I have to cut this through completely here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you want to do this. And you do want, and you don't want to fold it completely. Again, completely up to you. I want to leave a little bit of the curvature. So I like it around there like that. So let's see what it looks like. So you have an idea of what I am creating. Okay, so we're going to get this. This is my idea. 
I want to put my pictures here. You can go this way if you want to and have your photos down here. I like kind of a vertical look for this. So I'm going to say I'm going to put it right there. My pictures are going to sit here. And here's where the leaves are going to come in to play. Okay, so we want to get those leaves kind of coming off the page here. Okay, so remember, you have to make the ephemera and the die cuts work for you. So if I have to cut leaves, I'm going to cut leaves and stuff like that. So I think that I want that. I might put a little bit of pink here just to create the cut, sort of a movement there. And a little bit more of white. Okay, so I am working there. And also, you know what? I, the collection has some of the vellum leaves. It kind of has the same movement. They're a little bit bigger, but I think it's going to work perfect for this. Okay, so I think I might actually add some of this. We're going to play with some of this. So just so you see what it looks like, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it up. You know, I'm not going to go quiet. I talk too much sometimes. So uh, let's play with some of this. So if you have the vellum ephemera, you do want to get them look as if they're coming off from inside of the pocket. So that's the whole key here. Okay, so. One of the, I don't, I'm not loving that bright green. So I like this. I like this, the fact that it's coming down. Okay, so we can add some of this white here. And a lot of the papers in the Delightful collection have this sort of look, you know, like with some leaves. So I thought it was going to be, you know, a good idea to play with them. And this die is available at the shop. Like I said, everything that I'm using today is listed in the description of this video. So, uh, and you can check everything. You will make, every time we do a class or a live, we make sure that everything is available before we book it, like, you know, before we put it down. So that then you guys can find it easily in the Print Fresh Studio store. So I'm just going to, I just want to see, I think these are too big. Just, they look wonky. But if you have the vellum leaves, you can do it. I'm going to work just with the die cut. So for now, let's just go at it. Okay, I have this one. Let me just kind of set the, my idea in place. I might cut this in half because I think it's too big, but let's see. Okay, I like that. That worked. I'm gonna, literally, I'm just going to kind of stash it underneath here. And you guys know that format adhesive is going to come into play because I love dimension. So, and I'm going to a little bit of pink. So here we go. We have my little idea. So that's what it's going to look like. So now my picture is going to sit there. I need to keep cutting like little shapes like that. So how am I going to keep this in place? And I'm sorry, I'm reaching in front, like, you know, here. Just so you see it. I'm going to get a little foam adhesive. I'm going to put it not right at the tip of the fold. I'm going to go a little bit more inside. And that's going to help you keep this in place. And have that little, and let me lift it up so you see it. So you'll be able to keep the fold together and also have the little bit of dimension. If you don't like dimension and you want it to be flat, then just go ahead and just crease it and then you have that look. But I think having that kind of sort, like, you know, that look of a window kind of thing, it looks, it's nice. So this, and of course, we're going to embellish that. So I have, like I said, I have all the embellishments here thinking that I want to go with something that is going to go wrong. I'm not going to glue it. I'm just going to show you what it's my idea. You can go with it here, or you can go with it just kind of peeking out of there. So that's kind of what I have in mind for this. Okay, and then we have it. So we're going to add a few more. Like I said, you always have to think you want to create a flow on your page. You want to think about a visual triangle. So something that's going to make your picture, you can all stand up. So. I already like that. Not, you know, securing it yet, but it's going to stay in there. So I think I need to create another, another, like, think about it. It's coming here. Remember, it's right there. My pictures are going to sit right there. I like them there. I like a little bit of an offset of the pictures. I think I want to create another one here. Not here. Let's see. Let's draw with the pencil. Uh, you can go in a checkerboard motion. You don't, the cuts don't have to be in the same, like, you know, the same way. I think the next cut I'm going to create is going to be this way. So I actually might actually cut it. Sorry if I'm making noises with my mouth. I'm just thinking about it right now. I think I'm going to cut it here and then have some pieces here. Or I actually, I'm thinking I want to cut it right, right here. 
yeah, I'm gonna cut it right here. And then use that fold to like anchor my pictures. Okay. So yeah, set it aside for now. And that's what I said. We're just going to kind of move this other group to the side. Okay, so we're gonna go with the cut first. Now that we now that you see what I'm going for, now it's easy for me to just cut everything in place. So the next cut, and that's one of the things, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a double grid. I am going to skip the little space in between. So there's a space, you know, that so that you don't have like, you know, those really thin lines and the fold is gonna be flying. Make sure that you leave a little bit of space in between. Yeah, so we're gonna go with this cut. And remember, I'm gonna make a different cut. So this one opened up, I cut this way. I actually cut it this way, let me see. If I have this here and this is for you, yeah, I'm gonna cut it this way. I changed my mind on this just because I think it will create a perfect space for the pictures. So let's go at it. Yes, if I go quiet, it's not because I'm not, I'm not, you know, just I'm trying to make sure that I don't, you know, I'm already thinking in my mind where's the next cut gonna go. So going. Here we go. Ah, I like it. Okay, so again, this is gonna look white because remember, on the other side we have a striped paper. So I have my little piece of foam adhesive that you're gonna need. Or if, like I said, if you don't want to have the dimension, then go ahead and just create the crease. But I like that. Especially if my picture is gonna sit here. Then here you're gonna have, sorry guys, everything came out here. So let's see. I would like to have things that are coming out here, especially if this is coming here like this. So let's say we got to, this is gonna be one of those layouts that it's not complicated. It's just gonna take you some time to play with the idea. And trust me, like I said, I planned, but sometimes things have to change a bit. So you're gonna see right here, I'm gonna put some green. I cut a lot of green, cause like I said, it's a boy layout. Here a little bit more. Of course, we're not, not gonna cover my nephew's face. Some pink. And I'm just gonna create that movement going down. So maybe going up a bit. So we're gonna continue. There we go. Okay, let's bring it out so you guys see it. You see, and that's what I said. Okay, I have to crease it a bit there. We have to tack it back a little bit. So, so just so you see what it's starting to look like. Okay. So now you gotta consider where you wanna put your next cut. So I'm going to actually probably go here. So it's not gonna be completely linear. So I'm going to probably create another one here. And I, but I think the next one, I wanna add it right here. And I'm gonna open it so it goes this way. Okay, so if this one, so I need to make the cut here, here, and here. So when it folds, it creates the way down. Like I said, step by step, we'll build it. Okay, so again, we'll move this to the side. You're gonna see that I'm creating little bundles here on the side for me. Okay, let's go here. Again, if you have a box cutter, which I have right well, I have my exacto here too, but I'll go ahead and cut it. So it's just if you don't have a paper like this that has like um, you know, this paper here, it's called. I already told you the name, I forget. Simple Pleasures, if you don't have this and you have any other one, then use like some grid paper, like graph paper on top of it just to help you create, you know, the, the cut easier or easily. This is just, okay, so we're going to cut here. Let's see. For some reason, the box, the box cutter, it's just way better. So there we go. So you see, I'm switching the direction of the fold. So I think it's just gonna help you. And we are gonna add a few more things here. Remember that I have the picture. Once I have the picture in place, then I'm gonna know where I need to cut. But for now, so let's see, my picture is gonna sit right there, more or less, more or less. So I want, again, I want stuff to be kind of coming off here. Okay. Coming down here. Just I'm continuing the movement. 
Again, like I said, I'm cut a bit of green, up some yellow here. Why not? They're kind of. And then I'm just going down. I might have to cut some of these because they're like, if you see the design, some of them are have like this curvature. I'm going to hide half of it out. So I might cut half of it. So I just, you know, like I said, make the ephemera or in this case, the die cut work for you. So it's okay. You can cut it. So I kind of like this going like that. Okay. So remember, this is going to be coming out of the here. I like that. So I think I need to create another one. I'm just thinking, yeah, well, there's going to be something down here. Okay. I'm liking how this is coming up. See, like I said, I have ideas. I'm thinking, I think we're going to work. And then I, you know, I was thinking about it last night. I was like, should I do the cuts? And I'm like, no, because then they're not going to, you know, see my mind at work. And it's kind of funny, you know. So let's see. Now that we're in the yellow. So you see what it looks like. Okay. So I like those little windows. I love the movement. I love the colors. Okay, so to see if there are any questions. Okay, so let me see another one here. I want to cut another one. Let's see. I'm going to use my pencil. I know I want another one here. I want to take advantage of this. And I want it to open up. See, that's the only thing you have to worry. No worry, but just think about where you're going to put your um, cuts. So I like that there, I like here, and it's something, I'm actually gonna create, it's gonna move like this, it's moving like this, it has to go down. So we're gonna add one here. Here, we're gonna cut it from here to here. And we're gonna cheat a bit here. We're gonna cut a little bit less on this side. You see it's popping up. I mean, need, I need to secure it with more form adhesive once I finish. But I'm gonna cut it here. That's gonna be my next window. So it opens up like this and I can create like kind of um, bundle more leaves here. So I can add my title there. Then I'm gonna create another one right here. Remember I'm going kind of an S, you know, kind of zigzagging it. So I'm gonna go another one here. This is gonna open this way. Okay, for now, we let's do those two. Okay, picture on the side, my leaves on the side. Little bundles of leaves. Okay. And this will be great with flowers too, by the way. Okay. This will be great with flowers. Let's so remember this one because I'm getting close to the edge. I'm just going to be careful when I do that cut. Okay. So and now I'm thinking I shouldn't cut that extra line, but I didn't have a symmetrical side. So I'm going to go again. Just leave around an eighth of an inch from the edge on this side, just because I'm cheating on this. Not because you have to, I'm just cheating on here. Okay. And you can do it as many times as you want to the, the cuts. Like it's completely up to you. I just, a little bit of a flow for my page. And I'm going to add a few more here. Okay, here we go. Okay, I like that. Okay, where's my foam piece? I have it right here. I'm going to put two. Hopefully that will keep it tighter in place. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Remember, I have my other cut. I want it to open up this way. So I'm going to cut mm -hmm. up here. There we go. And if you have flowers, then, you know, this is a, this would be great. This would be great as a card, too. I'm just, you know, putting it out there for the card makers because we have a few. Just, I just think pattern paper. Oh, okay, you see, I'm talking and I just kind of screwed up my cut there. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Don't get scared. Even though I got scared, but let's see. Okay, be careful when I pop this. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see this. Oh, thank God it's white. Okay, that's okay. So we're going to add actually the foam adhesive here. First thing, if you go like that, add your foam adhesive right where you cut it so that it will keep the little edge in place. So there we go. Then we're gonna add another one down here in the center. And of course, we're gonna hide it with some. See, I'm gonna add another one up here. So that's the only thing you have to keep in mind is that. 
Okay, so we're going to fold it. I'm not stressing. Okay. So now let's think about it. Where we're going to put a picture. And it's another cut here. Remember, I want quite a bit of leaves. They're going to be a title here. I need a cut here somehow. I'm just going to sit right there. Yeah, I need a cut. Thinking that I want to open it like that. Go on, let me see. I have to see. see. Remember little bundles, bundle one, bundle two, bundle three, bundle four coming down here. Yeah, if I do this like a little bit heavier here, then it is going to help me with the title and here, I want to add my flowers here, my flowers, my leaves here. And now here on the side, it's kind of connecting. So I like the way it's looking. So then I'm just thinking that I need another cut right here and another one. I don't want to overcrowd it either. So let me see. So you guys can see it right there. Oh, you like it? I, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it is, you know. And we haven't put everything in place. We're just creating the cuts for now. The cuts are like, you know, the that's what you want. Like you want to make sure that when you create this, you want a leaf or a flower that has movement. So that's going to soften, like, you know, the angular shapes of your um, background. Okay. So that's what I went with this um, die, die set. So I want to, I'm just looking at where do I want to add another one? It's because I need to also add more stuff here. I can also trim it, which I'm thinking that I might trim this extra piece here, just so it's smaller. See, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about trimming it right here and adding another one here and another one up here. So let's do that again. Let's move this out of the way. And then the last time you're gonna see it like that, we're gonna finish it right. So let's start by, I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. First thing first. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna make sure that I cut one of these squares around an inch, I think, three quarters. Perfect. And have that. I don't need this anymore. Let's see here. So like I said, see it's coming. There we go. I'm just thinking where do I want to add it. I don't want to add it here. I want to kind of, kind of offset it. So I'm thinking that I want to add it right here. So if I go one, two, and three, and I want to open it this way. So let's see now. My box cutter works better than this. So I hope this is actually giving you some ideas. Yeah, you like the yeah, I like I also pulled another one that I think will work great here. I'm not using that. This is the leafy branch, and this will be another one that will work great in this idea. Just look, it's gonna give you the movement that you want. Okay, so let's see this. And if you have little pictures, like, you know, this would be a great place to add little photos if you do this. And then you add little pictures in the one, each one of the folds, it'll be, it will look nice. Don't forget that my pictures are going to sit here. So it's going to fold it lightly. Oh, my he said it's going to be my best friend today. Let's see this. Okay. I like that. I don't mind that it's, I'm probably gonna move the leaves going up that way too. And I think I wanna create another one here coming down because I wanna give it space. So I'm not even gonna mark it. I just know where I'm gonna cut it. So see, it's coming apart. It's not coming apart. I just, I'm not creasing my edges. I do like the little bubble. And if you worry that it's not gonna fit in your page protector, it fits in your page protector. So don't, you know, like I said, if you like dimension, then just you know create the little the little bubble I'm gonna call it. But if you want it to go flat, then go ahead and crease the fold. And, you know it will work great anyway. So I kind of like the bubble situation that is happening when you create the fold. So it's here. There we go. So okay, let's 
Let's go lightly. There we go. So we can take two pieces of foam adhesive. One and two. And I think my background is ready now. So I can go ahead and build the thing. So here we go. Yep, I like it. So my background's ready. Now let's trim this. This yellow. It says, I need more leaf. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Leafery, is that a word? Okay. Again, English is my second language. Is leafery a word? Like, let me add it to my list. I have not read that word before and I read a lot. So is it really a word? But somebody says it feels palm. It says it, I'm feeling spring. You know what? If you see how Toronto looks like right now, I don't know how your corner of the world looks right now. Right now in Toronto, it's like gray. It's raining and it's going to change into snow. So it is not pretty. It's not going to be pretty. And I'm the only one home because now everybody works full time in my, my house. I am a mother. I am a stay at home mom of adults now that do not want that say they want to leave. You know, I was warned by my son that he might move out and uh, we haven't seen him leave yet. So um, for now, and I think I said it to somebody, I am blessed of, you know, being the mother of adults that do not want to move out. They say they want to, but they're not. So, and I'm cool with that. Because, you know, I spent the past 22 years taking care of them. So there we go. See? Ready? I am going to glue it. I'm going to say a little bit of an offset on this side. I'm not going to put it on the center. I'm going to move it a bit to the left. Just because I want to make sure that my pictures kind of, um, I'm going to say, kind of create center the entire page. So by putting my picture a little bit on the offset, pretty much at the same distance, this becomes center. Okay? I think Leafry is describing it. I'll take it because, again, English is my second language, even though, and you know what the sad part is, and I'm going to go, like like I always say, we chat a lot here. Um, I've been in Canada for, it's going to be 30 years, which is more than half my life, yet I still have the accent. I graduated from university here. I graduated from high school here. Um, I had an A in literature, but uh, my mother speaks very little English, uh, and we watch a lot of novelas. If you guys are from South America or anywhere in Latin America, do you guys know that literally is like, you know, soap operas, but have an end. You know how the days of our lives doesn't never end. There's always like you know never, there's never an ending. Latin American soap operas have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And then if it's really good, then they have like a remake, you know? So we watch a lot. Well, my mother and I watch a lot. And then my husband too watches them and he's Portuguese. He grew up here in Canada, but there's a beauty called subtitles. So now he gets to watch them too. Foliage, thank you. That word I've read or greenery, that's better. But leaf green, hey, I'll take it, like I said. There we go. So you see my background, very linear, you know, not complicated. And now we're going to soften it. Accents have so much personality. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to say yes um, in a way that, um, yeah, because, but then when I go back and I look at like the closed caption, I'm like, what is going on? So yes, I, I like to say yes to myself. And then when I go read, like, you know, the closed caption, I'm going, oh, my God, what are you saying? So, you know, yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. So here we go. So now we're going to go all about embellishing this. So let's go at it. Again, like I said, this one, because it has that, I'm, not, I'm okay with trimming it. I'm going to hide half of it anyway. So I'm going to cut it right here. And now it's going to be all about embellishing this. So foam adhesive, it's going to be your best friend in this part. Okay, hello. Somebody just came in. Oh, you watch Jane the Virgin? I my my daughter loved that show. She loved that show. You know, and then if you look at my daughter, she doesn't look anything. She doesn't look Hispanic at all, at all. You know, my son, he looks like my my uncles. My daughter, spit an image of my mother-in-law and my husband. Spit an image. So very Portuguese, very European-looking girl. God bless her soul. 
you know. But she loved that show. She made us watch a few times. Again, we watch soap opera, so you know that's like normal to us. And I've, like I said, if you're a Hispanic girl, like I grew up in the eighties and nineties, like you know, with a very dramatic fake crying soap, you know, um, soap opera, different times, of course, you know. Now they're a little bit more, um, the newer, different themes, you know, but the idea remains the same. So remember, I cut it. Now I can use it down here. Yeah. So use it to bulk up your um, cut here. One of the things is never be afraid to cut your die cuts. Don't be afraid to use them. Make, make the stuff work for you. Okay. Don't, I always think, you know, sometimes we get like, um, what is the word? Stuck with a piece of ephemera or an embellishment because it doesn't, like, you know, it doesn't fit or it doesn't look the way you want it to. Just go ahead and trim it. You know, that's um, the best way that you can, you know, make it work for you. You know, it, you're going to see how much better life is after you do that. So remember, I have this here. I am going to add some foam adhesive behind it. And whenever I attach like my leaves, you're going to see that I only put foam adhesive on the tip of the leaf, not throughout it. So there's only like that kind of creates a kind of a lift. So this is going to sit. I'm going to put it I'm gonna right there. Kind of coming off the pocket, kind of in between there. I like that. I might, you know, once I'm finished, I might actually add this a little bit of the pink down here. Kind of layer a bit. Just, I need a piece of foam adhesive. I like that. And you know what? Accidentally, it looks very pastel -y. It wasn't my plan. It just, it looks that way. I honestly, I wasn't thinking it's going to look very pastel, but it's looking pastel -y. Again, a new word, pastel -y, you know? So again, pictures, I am going to add something behind my photo just to make it stand out a little bit more. So I have pieces of paper here. And even though it's boy, I think I want to go with this. It just makes it stand out in all this sea of green. I want something that's going to make it stand out, you know? So I do like it here. And this paper, let's see, I, the way I cut it, so I know the name, it's called Stay True. And it has a bit of like the coral tones that I don't have in the ones that I die cut. So I'm liking this. So I'm going to go ahead and just I am going to create a frame for this. I can go with this green, but I think it's just going to make it very greeny. So I'm going to go, not again, add it to my list of words that I'm making up as I go live here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to glue it in place. I am not going to add anything behind it. I'm just going to frame it with this paper. It's going to bring some life into the page. So I have my little guillotine here. So now I can take out the name. Just a, just a frame. You can go with any color paper. Like I said, just because I have a lot of green and a lot of teal and there's some yellow and a little bit of that like soft pink kind of violet, violet of the papers. I'm going to bring some of the coral. This collection has these beautiful coral tones that, you know, it was not in that paper. So I'm just going to make it up here by actually um, framing my photo with this paper. And this, the name of this paper is Stay True. I'm just going to make sure. Okay. And then one of the things that I do, you know, if you've been with me before in my life is that I like to add something behind my picture to make it pop a little bit more. And my choice always is chipboard. Okay. And again, um, you're going to ask me where I get it from. This is the chipboard that comes whenever you buy online paper or the backs of your um, paper pads. I like to keep it. Um, one thing I like to create a little bit of dimension is not going to add a lot. You know, when you buy like foam or stuff like that, it gives a lot of height. I don't want to. I just want to create a soft shadow behind your photo that is going to just make it stand out a little bit more. So by um, trial and error, or if you like create a layout and it's like, you know, you have leftover, uh, you didn't like the background and then you kept it, then use that. Okay. So here we go. We have it right there. We're going to put it in place. And that's what the grid is beautiful here. The grid paper. There we go. And now we can just finish adding the leaves. Yeah. Don't you like it? The coral is just a little bit. It's just enough. 
for all the green that's going to go down. So let's keep adding on to this. So remember, you want to create a little bit of flow. You have your leaves coming down, make it continue. Okay, so. Get up a bit here, and there we go. You want to make sure that I don't want to cover my nephew's face or anything like that. And that's what I said. I'm not afraid of cutting, you know, the die cut. I like that. So full adhesive. It just it, the little bit of chipboard. I'm gonna lift it up so you see it. Don't worry. Let me just put the full adhesive here. So you're gonna see the little bit of chipboard. It just creates. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a soft shadow. If it's nicely on your page protector, it's not gonna add like you know lots of dimension. It just gives you a little bit of that lift without you doing that much work. You know. I just trimmed it. Behind it. Remember, I'm just putting at the tips or hide your foam adhesive. You don't want, I don't want to cover the entire leaf with it, just a little bit to create a little bit of height. Okay. I have the other piece here. Okay, so let's see this. Remember, I'm just kind of following the natural curvature of this die to create this. So I'm going to have that there. I think I want to stretch it with a little bit of yellow. Remember, make it look as if it's coming from the little pocket there. And moving on to the other one. Yeah, for now, I'm not going to glue that one there. Let's go with this. So again, let's see. I want to make sure that it kind of comes up, kind of moving that way, creating the wave this way. Okay. Get some yellow here. Just, just come on that press there. Let's see which other colors I have here. Oh, I have a little bit of this pink that I think I need to bring here. Let me see. No. Kind of corner. Try to use your corners. See, you see how it's popping? There we go. I think I need something a little bit smaller here. Let me see. Green. I might have to cut this a little bit smaller. There we go. I like that. Just gonna play with this a bit more. I am gonna set them in place after. I'm just gonna place how they go. Because remember, time is you know of an essence. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of help with some foam adhesive. And now once I finish, I'll go and secure it. I am not gonna promise the picture today because really it's really dark here in Toronto. So the pictures are not gonna look anything close to pretty. But I'll take the picture tomorrow morning. Hopefully it's not like you know dark and you know dreary so there we go we're gonna need more leaves here so let's see corner, corner. so i'm gonna keep, keep moving keep creating this movement too tight so let's do it this way okay let's go with this here okay. i have a little bit of that pink left over There we go. This one is popping up a bit. Okay, so again, I have some yellow here. I'm gonna trim it in half, too big for what I have in mind. And some yellow, I'm gonna wanna come in out of here. Mm, let me see. Sorry, I'm not going quiet on purpose. I'm just trying to like, you know, my brain is going on right now on speed going, okay. What are you working on? So let's see. Yep. See, I have some more leaves here. I cut so much. Okay, let me look. Yep, that looks good. Need some white here. Let me get some more color here. Some of this pink. I think I want to get it. I don't know if I can get it here. Yeah, I like that there. Okay, let me see. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of green here. Kind of coming down a bit. There we go, I like that. It just needs a bit more, I need some white to cover my mess here. That much I know. So, 
Mm, too big. Oh. Trim it. This is too much. Yeah, that's enough. I'm not going to overdo on the leaves either. So I'm just trying to work around it. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's move my leaves out of the way. Like I said, I'm going to secure them with foam adhesive once I'm finished the live. And now let's embellish. So let's start with the title. Okay. I really like this ridiculously amazing because it's just going to pop. And I can put it down here. I can put it right here. And I can put it right here. Okay, so there's different options. I can put it here, which I like it because it just has all those leaves kind of popping out. Um, you want to go with something that is really contrasting. So I really like the stay true too, just because it has a lot of contrast with the leaves. Okay, and I might put this one up here, which I like too. I like that better. Okay. That's the way layers get built. You just have an idea and you go with it and you, you know, do all things. And then we're going to add some more of this here. Okay, so we're going to go with a lot of like kind of these tones here. Uh, good life. It's going to be right here. Again, kind of, kind of coming off the page like at the corner there. Let's see. I like that. Then let me see. It's not listed on the side. I might be sold out. The paper, you mean? Leah, do we still have leftover um, the life fold? So I want to get this here. Let me see. I may need a face. Yeah. I have more here. Remember, we got to build a triangle. So I think I'm going to add another one down here. So I like this over here. So kind of create a line. You can put it there. Remember, I'm not pressing down on it. I want to add this here. I might actually add it. I don't know if I want to add it up there. I like it there too. So it has a little triangle there. This happy one, stay true. I like this. For now, let's walk away from that. Happy to be here. I don't know if I want to put it right here. Just because I want to hide this little boo boo that I did. No, I don't like it here. I think I need to go with something round. That's the, that's what I'm just looking at. I like the smile. Keep it here. Let me see. Ah, I like that there. There we go. So you see what I'm getting to? Those little circles are going to help you with that. Uh, my title is going to see right there. Let me just see. Um, ridiculously amazing. We're going to move this. I see story of today. I like this better. I like that much better. So let's start securing now. Okay. And we are going to add some more stuff to the side of the picture. But for now, we just secure this in place. I'm so nice and quiet. Honestly, I'm not used to this nice and quiet in my house usually. Well, up to last week, Monday last week, or Tuesday last week, my son was working from home, but now they're back in the office. He started his, like, you know, real life work. So now it's really quiet. The dog doesn't make any noise. He's sleeping. My dog is 12 now. So he's a senior and uh, he sleeps a lot now, you know, he's not like running up and down. So before when he was smaller or younger, he will be jumping up and down and we have to play with him and he'll bark and make noises for us to pay attention. Now he just sleeps. So it is nice. But it makes the house really quiet too. And, you know, thank you, Esther, you know. It's, uh, but I'm trying to get used to it. I mean, it is, you know, I never, you know, you always, when your kids are young and, you know, for whoever happens to have kids, you know, you say, oh, I wish they'll just grow up. Now that they're like, you know, big and I saw him go to his job and stuff like that. I'm like, I wish I could, you know, squish you back in and make you little. But, you know, they have to grow up. You know, I say that to myself. And the first day after he left to work, I think I cried as much as when the first day that I left him at kindergarten. So they, there you go. Okay, so I cried that he, they, he went to work. I took his picture. He mumbled something like, okay, I got to go. You know, 
And um, and I like as soon as the door closed, I was like, oh, my baby is leaving me, you know. And then um, he called me. He's like, oh, I'm at work. And I'm like, oh, I'm glad you're here. And like, you know, he hang up and I'm like, oh, he's at work, you know, that kind of like ugly crying. So I was like, thank God nobody's home because they'd be like, oh, you know, like literally there was ugly crying that day, you know, not not even my husband would stand it. So, you know, but like I said, it's been a week. We're getting used to the idea of that, you know. So I'm just secure, and I'm gonna use a like a thicker um foam adhesive for my title because I just want to make sure that it pops a little bit more than the rest of the page. So just you know, little things that little tricks that are gonna make your page stand out. Yeah, so let me just I want to make sure that you guys see them more. Like you know, I don't think I'm gonna add much more. Maybe something like it needs something down here, and then we're gonna add. Uh, I have the seal. You see, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to make sure that there we go. I'm going to secure some of these leaves. So you may want to glue them in place so that the title stands out a little bit more, which is I'm thinking what I'm going to do here. Oh, where's my glue? Uh, my glue bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a dot of glue behind it. Okay, dot of glue behind it. Some of these just need a little dot of glue to keep in place. Okay. And some of these are going to need some foam adhesive. So think about where you want to add your foam adhesive. Not all of them need it. Some of them, by adding the foam adhesive, you create a layer look. So, and I'm going to show you. Actually. I'm going to lift it up for you so you see it from the side. Okay. So there's like levels to your layout. Oh, yeah, you cried too. Yeah, it was. I have to say that, you know, it was very rewarding the day that he finished school, you know, because he did his apprentice, no, he did his internship and the same company hired him like way even before he finished school. So that was really rewarding. But then, um, you know, then he, COVID, while he was working his internship, he actually studied on the side. So he was able to speed up his courses. So he graduated almost a full, like a full year, like a full semester ahead of time. So I just added more circles just to help me with the layout while I'm talking. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so, you know, he just turned 22. So he is, he is a baby, you know, and, you know, they'll always be your baby. So that's the thing, you know, it's, um, that's the thing. They always be my baby. So ugly cried, ugly cried, you know, ugly crying. See, I like this here. You see how this, the roundness just kind of works and it's really soft. And I like this. I don't know if I want to move it down here. So I'm just making sure that it's not overdoing it. I, you know what? There's also one in the ephemera that I like. I think this is a smaller one. I like this better. It's softer. Uh, if you don't like, if you find it that you cannot read what it says there, like you find it a little bit like um, because you might say it like see through. It looks better in the yellow. I like it, but I think I want to put it right here. So this is keeps popping up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add. Don't look away. Some paper here. I'm just gonna glue it lightly. When you glue vellum, okay. Little trick. Add your dots of glue behind the designs. Okay, don't add it to the like to the translucent part. Add it to where you have the sign, so that way you can hide the dots of glue. Okay, and you just need dots. Don't go overdoing it. You just need little dots because vellum can like you know sometimes bubble depending on what glue you use. So if you just add a little dot, it's not gonna create that bubble. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Like I said, don't look what's on the other side. I'm just gonna trim around it. And that way I take the translucency of this and may give it some opacity so you'll be able to read what it says. And because it has the same design, you know, those leaves and the curvature and it has the circles that I have scattered in the chipboard flare. So it'd be perfect here. And just to finish, because we're almost finished, I think we did great on time. Yep. Sure, Leah is gonna start picking a winner soon, which is gonna add some enamel dots. So I wanna add this here. 
because I said I need it needs something on this side. I'm gonna go here. There we go. And my last journal is gonna be done here. Well, not mine. This is going to my sister's uh, album. And let's see. Let's just see. I'm gonna cut this in half. Let me see what it looks like. I'm just going to slightly lift it up. Yeah, I might need some here. Just to bring the leaf motif onto the side. Yep, that's it. Oh, like I said, the last thing we're going to add, it's done. That. So make sure, you know, be careful where you place them. So I'm going to go a little bit of coral here. I'm gonna kind of scatter them. Here, I want a few here. I want to bring some of that coral from the picture. So I'm going to underneath and a bit of a yellow next to the title. So I'm going to again kind of here, a little bit there. Let me see. Okay. Where do I need more? This purplish one. I want to add it right here. Right here, a bit of the green. See, and one of these little coral ones. Kind of stick it underneath it so you won't see it. Don't need the shadow. I need something else here. So let's go with some green. I'm gonna have to do some stereo securing after I finish the life. Okay, and maybe a little pop of red here. Here again, just gonna stash them a little bit so like you know. They give you just that shade of color. Okay, there we go. Now I'm done. Seriously done. Mm. So there we go. What do we think? You can add some pop of shine to it. Like uh, the glitter dots would be good or the gold metallic, you know, drops would be great. But the gist of the layout is here. I love what this turned on. Very simple. You can, like I said, you can replace the leaves with flowers and everything, you know. Um, there we go, we're gonna see it. So I'm going to actually flip the camera to see you and then we're gonna say our goodbyes. Let me see, we finished a project in an hour, not bad. Let me pat myself on the back for that. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this. I actually love how this turned out. You know, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and secure it outside of the camera. There'll be a little bit more of foam adhesive just to make sure the leaves don't pop out. And also I'm gonna add a little bit extra foam adhesive behind the folds so that they don't, you know, come undone. Um, we do have a winner. We have Mindy, I'm hoping it says Lauren's your last name. You are the winner of a $15 gift certificate to the shop. Make sure you email Leah, Leah at pinkfreshstudio.com uh, to claim your prize. Give her a few days because, you know, she's quite busy right now. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Um, like I said, keep your eyes open for, you know, social media. This weekend, you guys are going to love what's coming. That's all I'm going to say, because I can't say no more. Um, be sure to check the new uh, collections. They're beautiful. They're beautiful, beautiful. And as always, if you create any projects, you know, with this idea, any Pinkfresh Studio, uh, you know, goodies, make sure you tag the shop so we can see it. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Leah, for, you know, helping out and being, you know, the one that can answer questions while I'm blabbing away, um, you know. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in two weeks. Next week, you know, if everything goes good, everything goes good, you know, Kathleen be again with you next week. So take care, guys. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Bye, guys. <laughs>